What's going on guys, this is Vince with vshred.com and today I'm gonna show you guys three exercises to help fix your scapular winging. All right, so like I said in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a couple exercises that you can use if you are currently experiencing scapular winging. First off, what exactly is scapular winging? I don't really, I tried doing this in the mirror earlier just to try to get it to show. It's basically when your shoulder blades just basically stick out far. It's almost like you can grab your shoulder blade as a handle on the back of you. And you just gotta understand exactly why this is happening and that is really, it just comes down to a, an imbalance of muscles because how the shoulder blade sits on your body it's supposed to be flushed to your rib cage and then when you have any kind of shoulder movement it's supposed to remain flushed against your rib cage it's supposed to stay flat on your back your back is not supposed to have this large lump coming out with that shoulder blade sticking out and that can cause uh, a, a, a maybe bad shoulder mobility, maybe even shoulder pain when you're doing certain exercises. So the way to fix that is to figure out what muscle exactly is, be, is, is weakened and needs to be strengthened so that you can start to flush that shoulder blade up against your rib cage so that you can have better shoulder mobility and you don't experience pain when you are doing certain exercises that you've experienced pain from before. So I wanna get into these three exercises. Uh, it's basically gonna be one beginner one, kind of an intermediate one, and then more of an advanced one. So I'll just bring you right over here. Oh, before I even get into it, let's first talk about what muscle it is that we're trying to strengthen, and that is going to be our serratus anterior. If you don't know what that muscle is, if you've ever seen somebody with their abs, and you got, they got the, those fingers right here up under their lat, right there. I don't know if you can really see it. I'm not too ripped right now. But uh, those, basically the fingers that are running right under your lat muscle, if you have like that lat hangover, that's your serratus anterior, and it is responsible for basically pulling your your shoulder blade up against your rib cage in the back. So those, that's the muscle that we need to strengthen. And it comes down to basically weakened, the, or like the, and, and not as good of an ability to um, protract and retract your scapula. So the three exercises that we're gonna be doing is going to be emphasizing loading up on protraction and retraction while emphasizing shoulder movement. So we're gonna come over here to the wall. This is gonna be the first one. This is gonna be probably the most beginner exercise that you can do. And like I said, we're trying to strengthen up that serratus anterior. So what we're gonna do is put our elbow straight out in front of us and we're going to also have our fingers um, open here. You want your shoulders to be, uh, well first off, you want your elbow to be about just under shoulder height shoulder level, so just under it. You want your arms to be about a 90 degree angle, flat against the wall. From here, what you wanna do is actually press your elbows into the wall, trying to almost get your, the middle of your back to come as far back as possible, and this is basically what shoulder pro or scapular protraction is. So this is immediately going to be activating that serratus anterior. From here, you're going to push your elbows into this wall, and then from here what you're gonna do is actually just slowly slide your elbows up against this glass while keeping that shoulder forward. So what you don't wanna do is push your shoulders forward, push your elbows against this, and when you bring this up, you bring your shoulders up with it. You want your shoulders to stay down, they want them to stay forward, and from here, you're gonna really focus on keeping your shoulder in that one spot while you slide your elbows up along this window and that's going to emphasize keeping your serratus anterior uh, engaged while emphasizing that shoulder mobility so that's going to be number one all right so the second exercise is also going to be more of a beginner type exercise it's going to be just using your body weight and then i'm going to show you a way to build on top of that to make it more of an advanced exercise and so what these are going to be are scapular push-ups Scapular push-ups, if you don't know what that is, it means instead of going into a push-up position and just doing a regular push-up, you're going to actually only engage, activate your scapula here. So what that means is getting into a regular push-up position, and that means a flat back. You want your core engaged. You don't want to have your butt up in the air and an anterior tilt on your pelvis. You want that to be tucked in, engaging your abs, back flat. And then the other thing is you want to 
outward rotate in your shoulders and your elbows. Not necessarily your elbows because you'll put too much tension on it. You want to focus on real outward rotating, outwardly rotating your shoulder here. And so once you get into the proper position here, what you're going to do is focus on pushing the middle of your back up as high as you can. So basically driving your arms through the ground by using your shoulders here. So what that's going to look like is right here just like that and that is going to be activating your serratus interior phenomenally and then you're going to go back down sink all the way in and then you want to try to get your shoulder blades to touch at the top from here keep your arms straight outward rotation drive again as far as you can and back down so you're just going to do probably 10 to 15 of these and what that's going to do is just activate that serratus anterior over and over again now I said that I was gonna show you the more advanced version. So this is gonna be exercise number three. And what it's gonna be using is a resistance band to add resistance to this exercise. So what you're gonna do is take this resistance band and if you have one short enough where you have handles, you can just use the handles, throw the resistance band around your back. And then from here, what you're gonna do, and if you don't have one of these, what you can do is just grab it by the resistance band if it's super long or something. You can just grab it there and put it under your hands in the push-up position. If you want to get this exact resistance band, I think it's the perfect length to be able to do this exercise. Uh, I'll just link it below. I'll, this exact sand, this exact set right here. It's my favorite set. Um, but I'm just going to take both these handles, throw it behind my back, and then I'm going to get down. And I want it right in line with my shoulders back here, like just below my shoulders. That way it doesn't roll up to my neck when I'm doing it. So down below my shoulders, I'm gonna get into a push-up position here. I'll get into a nice, strong position. So I'm gonna engage my core, roll my shoulders back, and then from here what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the exact same thing but with this resistance band adding extra force for me to basically just create more strength and create more muscular output to get my shoulders to protract and retract. So same thing, outward rotation, tucking my pelvis in, getting a neutral position with my back. And then from here, I'm gonna drop down as low as I can with that outward rotation in my shoulder. And I'm going to drive my shoulders through the ground, protracting while keeping that outward rotation back down. Retraction, protraction, retraction, protraction. And basically doing that over and over, doing all three of these exercises over and over is going to start teaching you how to activate that serratus anterior muscle so that your shoulder blades slowly start flushing to your rib cage on the back of your body rather than having this big scapular winging. So just do these exercises uh, consistently and it's not gonna just fix itself in the first day. It's not gonna fix itself in the first week. This is probably an issue that you've had for a long time, but what is going to fix this is taking consistent action with it and repeatedly doing this so that you can learn to activate that serratus anterior, build up the strength. That way you can start getting your, your shoulder blades to flush to your rib cage rather than having this scapular winging on the back of your back. So you can do like some mountain climbing on it. So if you guys are looking for more tips and tricks in the gym, I have a free body type quiz where it not only tells you what your body type is, but it tells you this appropriate steps that you need to take to get in shape for your specific body. You can check that out by clicking the link in the description below this video. Other than that, if you guys like this video, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, hit that like button below, make any comments in the comment section. And then last but not least, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you're clicking that subscribe button. And also make sure you're clicking that notification bell right next to the subscribe button. That way you're actually getting notified when I release a new video. All right, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.